Today we're going to keep talking about inversions and only by studying will you know how to use them. So may the grammar be with you. Inversions happen in English when we change the logical order of a sentence, which is subject, verb, object. And we use them for different reasons, one of them being dramatic purpose. Today, we'll look at inverted sentences with adverbs of place and movement. When we place an adverb of place or movement at the very beginning of a sentence, which we call fronting, we do so to achieve a dramatic effect. And in these cases, we need an inversion. We need to place the whole verb phrase before the subject, not just the auxiliary verb. When we speak, we often do this with short adverbs of place, like here and there. Do you know that songs by the Beatles that go as here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. However, we cannot do this when the subject is a pronoun. Here comes the sun, but here it comes. There stood the suspect, but there he stood. You're also likely to come across this structure with adverse of movements such as in or out. I opened the door and out came a huge rat. You see? More dramatic. But out it came. And we can also see this with a whole adverbial phrase. Through the window flew an adorable tiny bat. Or on the hill stood a castle. You see, far more dramatic than saying a castle stood on the hill. Don't you think so? Well, I guess we can call it a day now. Here comes my tea. See you guys soon for more inversions. <laughs>